Louis for sure is one of your favorites of the past year. Yeah, I, it sucks that I didn't get around to listening to it until now, unfortunately. Um, I always had it in the back of my mind, but it just other shit just kept popping up, and it's like, you know, that's the that's the thing about doing reaction videos is you do have to consider what's going to get views and what isn't. So doing something like SZA or a Metro Boomin is definitely going to get more views than Kenny Beats. As much as, you know, to me, as somebody who, who loves making music and analyzing the production and shit like that, I would much rather listen to something made by a producer who I admire as much as Kenny Beats. I mean, I'm certain this is going to be super enjoyable. Uh, it's going to be a really casual listen. I just really, I'm, I'm excited to listen to it. You know, I'm not, I'm not looking to pick this apart and, and be super critical. I just, I want, I just want to hear what Kenny Beats has for us because... Uh, I just respect that man so much, and I, I admire him and his work ethic, and, and honestly love his flair for production so much. So I'm, I'm sure this is just going to be super interesting. Uh, shout out to Kenny Beats, man, just pioneering as well, it, like a new era of um, you know mainstream, or I guess not even mainstream necessarily, but industry producers and artists streaming on Twitch and building actual relationships with their communities and um you know i've heard he didn't he just give out like fifteen thousand dollars to someone who won the last beat battle or something like that it's uh he's just doing so much for the community he's just so inspiring um so inspirational and and you know i think even t-pain started started streaming uh you know due to shit like the stuff that kenny beats has been up to i mean shout out to kenny beats for the cave you know this this again just this new era of industry people making content online beyond just dropping albums. I mean, he's, he's you know, just, at least the way I see it, as far as I know, really one of the first to do it the way that he does it in this new medium. So just so, so much respect for him. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm just excited to listen to the music. It was the first woman to win one of his battles. She made it all the way to the finals and won the 15K. That Can you imagine how life-changing that could be, dude? T-Pain Twitch streams are so fun to watch. Yeah, but not more fun than mine, though. <laughs> no, T-Pain's the goat. He's hilarious. Whenever, whenever he and Kenny get together to cook, it's, it's always a joy to watch. I mean this in the nicest way possible because I respect him a lot. Is responsible for so many bedroom producers with the biggest dreams. That's true. That's true. I mean, he's, he's inspiring a lot of people and showing them that um, you know, they can just get up and get to work and try and make something happen and if it doesn't happen at least they're you know they're out here working on shit that they love not overthinking shit just getting their their music out there and um yeah i just think that that's that's always that's always a good thing so i'm gonna uh, jump into it. i'm gonna make sure that these audio levels are, are correct um and we're gonna jump into track one of louis which is leonard let's get it why did people start calling me that? It all, Louis all started from, um, originally. As much as I love Kenny Beats, though, I do have to, I, I, you know, we're, we're going to walk on eggshells around him, because that man is, at the end of the day, the police. So, just be careful. He came from Boy. Oh, bitch. It starts with Rich Boy. <laughs> Lou. It started with him. And he used to call me Louis J. All the time. And it just progressed from there, and then all of a sudden, it was like, then when you started doing things, I'm going like, look, look, what the hell was going on? And then your mother capitalized on Lou only. She loved Lou. Lou called you Lou all the time, exclusively for the rest of your life. Whereas I would switch up Leonard, Len, Louie, Louie. but it was Lou. Your mother was straight Lou. Damn. Or Lou. She still to this day only calls me Louie. I'm glad I caught that never nugget of information right at the start. I were Leonard, big time. And I can't, if there's some other He made it? Oh, okay, name, great. I'm aware of it. Great. <laughs> but your mother is stuck to that name. I love that, man. <laughs> so this is his dad then explaining how he got the nickname Lou? That's a great bass line. Love the high pitched vocal chop there. <laughs> yeah. 
how you play in the snare on, you know, the two, three, and the four, and it's still fire? Fake radio station broadcasts on cassettes with them. That's so fire. I love the way this beat is building. The horns came in so subtly. Yeah. The little vocals in the background. Dun, dun, dun. That's so sick. So far, the horns. Don't think I don't hear the strings, too. Oh, I didn't hear the synths riffing there. That's so sick. Fuck yeah. Wow. Track three, hold my head. Parentheses is great. Wow. Sample is so tough. Let's go. Jackson 5 type shit. Wow. What's up, die name? Who mixed it, do you know? Yeah, the kicks are so rich, dude. God damn. So they say, track four. I was gonna ask, did he get Alex to mix it? Hi, my name is Louis Louis. I made this recording all by myself. The first thing I have to tell you is this. Ooh, look at that drum groove. The way he hits that open hat right after the snare too. That's so bouncy. God damn, he went so stupid for this one. Kenny's drums always go hard though. I said, F your mom, F your sister. F yeah, he has, I've seen in some of his streams, he has that like drum kit in his studio. It's really dope. I've seen him make beats with drums that he actually played. Oh, this one's funky too, but it's just slower. 
one has a little bit of a gorilla slash. Shout out Slow Tide, dude. Slow Tide commented on one of my videos. It made my day when I realized. It is Slow Tide, yeah. I love how bright those guitars sound, too. Slow Tide is so fire, bro. The guitars feel kind of wonky and drunk almost, but it's so sick. Yeah, Slow Tide commented on the reaction I did for, uh, I forget the name of the album. Fuck. I think it's his most recent one. Yeah, Mixo's the one who told me. He's like, yo, you didn't even see Slow Tide commented on your video. And I went back over there and I saw it. Thought that was really cool of him. I had no idea it would ever get to him, you know that he would ever see it, so. This is so nice, bro. Nah, I like the guitar riff there too. Hooper, track six. He's going crazy with the samples. Yeah, the sub on this is crazy, yeah. I feel you. This one uh, reminds me of that, um, is, the, is the song called Summertime by Beyonce and Jay-Z, where the horns come in, ba -da -dum -bum -bum, ba -da -dum -bum -bum, bum 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 That's This is what these horns remind me of. They're probably a similar little riff. Jay Dilla air horns. Feels Hawaiian for some reason. I get that vibe too, like sunset at the beach kind of a vibe. this one I was immediately like yo this is the one for Hawaii Hawaii is so beautiful I wish I could ever I wish I could go someday but I don't think I ever will go even if I'm able to if I can afford to go to Hawaii I don't think I'll go it's coming from someone born and raised in Hawaii man that's the way to do it Start this one. Shit, I wasn't expecting Peggy on this, bro. Oh my god. Coming off of the transition, too, which is so dope. Let me play the transition. Yeah, the transition was okay. <laughs> That man said, uh, and everyone came. <laughs> that soul sample, oh my god. Double up. 
Is this about to be one of my favorite Peggy tracks? Because I love this beat so much already. Oh yeah, you want that shit. Has Dustin heard this? I feel like he'd love this song. Oh my god. Let me message Dustin. I just messaged Dustin, yo, still by Kenny Beats, you're welcome. And he just said, LOL, thank you. So fire, bro. Vocals go so crazy there, too. If Dustin hops in the stream, I'm replaying this one. Lock the fuck up. Don't say anything. <laughs> I love that song, bro. Hey, Let's go. Why does that main melody go so crazy? Bass is gorgeous. Oh. Mixos logging on the Moses as we speak. so quick too track nine get around What's up, Dustin? Did you listen to the song I sent you, Dustin? If you haven't, I'ma play it for you. Hold on.
Haven't listened yet? All right, I got you. I'll play it for you. Hold on. Once we're through with the video, I'll go back and play it. Dude, this is so good. Graveyard shift is tough. I'm sorry, bro. I know that grind. I wish I knew whose vocals these were. This is great. Such a cool vibe. You're excited about it? Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, I would rather that as well instead of five eights. It is Dijon. Holy shit, you're right. Wow, now that now that you mention it, it totally is him. No wonder it's so fire. Insane, dude. Number 10, Eternal. Kenny's killing it, man. Every beat's been a vibe. Kenneth Instrumentals is going crazy, bro. Yo, if it was Alex who mixed it, he did a great job too. Super clean and the drums hit every time. Love that warbly guitar sound there too. It sounds like a guitar, but it might be keys. Wow, dude. And the horns that come in here towards the end. Last words. I always forget to get this shit off the screen. For those of you that are watching on YouTube, some subliminal messaging. guitars are so great. A lot of Dilla and Madlib? Yeah, for sure. Even the small decisions he makes, like cutting out the guitars there.
Wow. Hey, Rusty. <laughs> Rusty hopped over to the Twitch. <laughs> Thanks for following, Rusty. It was more for the people who are watching the video on YouTube afterwards, but I'm glad you followed me over here too. He's just talented, man. Yeah, he always finds the right people to put it, do the vocals. I'm a mortal. I'm a statue. I'm a, I'm a public figure, a trophy that's nice and shiny. I'm here forever, like air. Nobody say goodbye to the air. <laughs> Kenny Beats murdered my father. <laughs> Look at this, bro. Oh, yeah, run the jewels for it. That's where I heard this before. Shout out LP. Bro, the arrangement is so sick. Hair keeps falling in my face. Album sounds like clarity. It sounds so good, dude. Here in the perch, 103.6 FM with my son, uh, Ken the Third. And we'd just like to introduce him to you and uh, have him say hello. Hi, I'm That's Kendall. so sick. Happy to be here yeah, at the perch. We're just doing good stuff all the time. This keyboard team, we dedicate to all the, all those lonely people out there. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at that lead. You ever think we'll get the uh, Kenny Beats Kung Fu Kenny collab? That'd be great too. More music for you at the first 103.6. Collab tape between Kendrick and Kenny Beats. Just call it the Kennys. <laughs> Call it the Kenny collab. Like that. <laughs> With Kenny Mason? Yes. You could call it. <laughs> no, it's fucked up. Three K's is fucked up, bro. <laughs> Oh my god, Kenny beats Kenny Mason and Kung Fu Kenny. I guess that'd be 4Ks, that's okay then. Kenny G on sax, it's too much. It's too much. Dude, these drums are so crunchy. Oh, 
Ah, oh, the tongs. Yeah, I saw the Kenny Mason Cave episode. He, he made it a point to get the Kenny G sample. Tom Kenny, Spongebob narration. If Tom Kenny's narrating, he's got to do the French accent, though. The French guy. is Louis created by Kenny? Does that make this Louis C.K.? Think about it. Let that sink in. <laughs> this is filthy, dude. Oh my god. Womp, 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 womp. Benny Keats. <laughs> Drake finna steal that bar. No way. Just call him Uncle Ken. Uncle Ken is great. It really sucks he's a cop. I wish I could respect him more. Dude, Vince will forever be a menace for coming up with that Kenny Beats is the police thing, man. Cop jokes are banned on his server. <laughs> he, it must really bother him. That sucks if it does, because everybody makes those jokes. Get Kevin Bacon on the project. It's not quite a Kenny, but close enough. Damn. That's hilarious. Yeah, there's like thousands of people saying he's the police. It's just, it's hilarious to me that Vince Staples and Zach Fox are like the worst and the best things to ever happen to them. <laughs> Second to last track, Rotten. Kenny's just killing it, man. I'm loving every vibe. Kenny Meats is crazy. <laughs> I can't imagine somebody who's 6'8 grilling. <laughs> Isn't he like 50 feet tall? Yeah, Zach Fox actually made a career out of trolling, which is crazy. Kenny Cleats, size 40. No, Zach is nice with it, man. He's hilarious, too. No, I think Kenny's, Kenny's like 6'6", though. He's tall as shit. 6'5", 6'6". Something like that. Kenny's the goat, Kenny bleeds. <clears throat> no 
He made an OnlyFans called Kenny Feats. <laughs> Due to false accusations, not guilty, Kenny pleads. Wow. Made a cooking YouTube channel, Kenny Eats. This last song is on some crazy interstellar shit. I know. I'm loving the jokes in the chat, dude. Um, Hot Hand is the last track. Crazy interstellar shit. Oh, can't wait to hear this. I saw someone say a white man should not be able to make this. <laughs> no, senor. That's hilarious. Got a new iron, Kenny Fleets. Real shit though, I want to suck on Kenny Teats. <laughs> Kenny Streets is funny too. Wow. Getting raided by the FBI, Kenny deletes. Kenny says hi, Kenny greets. He says hi again, Kenny repeats. Kenny sits down, Kenny seats. His fans is who Kenny meets. Kenny gave me his phone number, Kenny Deets. New bed with some Kenny sheets. This sounds so gorgeous, dude, wow. Kenny sleeps. Kenny is the admiral of the Kenny fleet. Oh! God damn! God damn! God damn! Holy shit, Louis is fantastic, dude. I love the jokes in the chat, keeping it lighthearted, but on a more serious note, though. I mean, Kenny really did his thing with this shit. I was expecting to love it, but like, yeah, this is, you know, Kenny Beats just did his thing. Did his thing. Most of it's purely instrumental. He got a real, some really cool features, though, to do some, some vocal work on some of the songs, man. Uh, again, I'm going to repeat what I said at the start of the video. It sucks that I, I wait. It took me this long to listen to it, so it, it didn't get included in the, uh, the tier list that I made for the albums that I'd heard all year. But um, breaking through on DNT type beat for the last song, yeah, really, really cool. I, I love this shit. I love this shit. So if you're watching this on YouTube afterwards, thank you for watching. Um, let me know what you thought about it in the comment section. I'll see you guys later. Everyone stay safe. Peace out.